right, so today we are restoring the weather stripping on my 2002 IS300. Now, I actually restored the weather stripping here around the windows probably a month or two ago, and it actually turned out very good. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and put up a before photo right now of what this weather stripping used to look like. And you can see all the spots on the weather stripping here along the window. And I believe that is basically just old uh, mold or basically mildew that has uh, stained the weather stripping here. And I'll show you guys a, uh, an after here. You can see it isn't perfect. However, it is so, so much better. And keep in mind, this is about a month and a half later, so uh, it's had some more time to get, you know, some mildew and stuff on it. But it is a massive improvement. Uh, now, in this case, as I mentioned, I did the weather stripping around all the windows here. However, on the passenger side, still needs some improvement. And also up here around my window, it definitely needs uh, a lot of improvement. I didn't even touch up here, actually. Uh, you can see just all the spots and stuff on there. It just looks absolutely horrible. Uh, so basically how you fix this is you get a uh, magic eraser. Uh, you could either get a magic eraser uh, name brand or you could even get like a knockoff. I believe Laura Lynn uh, makes a knockoff magic eraser and seems to work relatively good. And you're going to uh, get it wet, number one. And then also you could use like a solvent if you want to. In this case, I was using Goo Gone. Uh, however, I don't think it's really necessary. But what I would do is I would get the Goo Gone on here, let it sit for a minute, and then get your wet magic eraser and basically scrub along the rubber. Um, it really shouldn't take all that long. I did probably all of the weather stripping here and maybe uh, 45 minutes total, and it was a massive improvement. So I'll show you guys how to do that around the window here. All right, like I mentioned from here, you're gonna get your Goo Gone here. As you can see, this is for automotive. It, it works on pretty much uh, any surface here. I actually used it to get rid of the uh, sticky dash issue here on my 2002 IS300. Um, anyways, you're gonna get some on like a toothbrush in this case, and you're just gonna rub it here on the weather stripping. Now this shouldn't hurt your paint or your, uh, obviously your glass, it shouldn't hurt the glass or the, really the weather stripping either. Um, again, this stuff is safe on pretty much any surface. And I use this on the weather stripping around my windows um, on here, like I mentioned, probably like a month and a half or two months ago, and it is still in just fine condition. So it didn't seem to hurt it at all. Uh, anyways, I'll go and let this sit in here for a minute, kind of rub it back and forth. That might help a little bit. And uh, I'll come back in probably five minutes and then go over this with a magic eraser. I'm also going to use this here. This is a uh, basically a hard bristle uh, brush here. It's made of plastic. It's not like a wire brush. Uh, I'm just going to rub along the weather stripping here. Try to get it maybe a little loosened up. Uh, this shouldn't, well, it shouldn't hurt your glass. It might scratch it just slightly, but it really shouldn't be much at all. Now, it can harm your paint, obviously. Uh, you could scratch your paint with this. Uh, so just be careful. Make sure you don't get this on anything you don't want scratched. Uh, now this shouldn't really be required. I didn't use this method here with this brush on the weather stripping around my windows. However, I just thought real quickly that, hey, maybe this might do a little something. All right, so I've already started scrubbing a little bit here with a, a different part of a magic eraser. But here I got this uh, somewhat fresh part here. I'm just going to keep rubbing here. I already moistened this up a little bit earlier. And again, basically just rub back and forth for a couple minutes, probably along this entire strip here, running the length of the windshield on the top part here. It should probably take maybe a total of four minutes of actually scrubbing. And actually you can immediately see right here, all the black stuff that's coming off of here. So um, it's definitely taking, you know, a little layer off of the weather stripping here, which is obviously what you want because you want to get that old, kind of like an oxidized layer off of there with all that mold and everything else. So, uh, and immediately that's already looking a lot better here. I'm going to get a microfiber towel and wipe that off. All right, now hopefully you could tell that it is already looking a lot better right here. It's looking almost new. However, there is still, uh, I don't know if you can really see it, but some very faint uh, markings there from the, um, basically the mold that's already uh, still on there previously. So what I'm going to keep doing is just rubbing it with the magic eraser here. I'm probably going to reapply uh, some more Goo Gone onto here just to try and get that loosened up. 
All right, and after letting the goo gone sit for a little bit longer and then getting the magic eraser and scrubbing until it pretty much just fell apart, uh, as you can tell, the weather stripping now, at least in this little portion, I haven't worked on the entire thing yet, but it is practically spotless. It is perfect. Uh, however, compared to down here where I haven't scrubbed, and you can just see all the spots on there versus right up here, and it is totally clean. It's absolutely beautiful, very nice and smooth uh, finish now, kind of like how it is on these now. Now, again, this isn't perfect. This has been after about a month and a half, and there's still some very light spots up here. However, I can guarantee if you spend some more time with it, uh, it will come out perfect probably forever. Um, so that's definitely what I'm going to do up here. I'm probably going to go over these uh, eventually all over again just to make them 100% perfect. Um, just to make them look like uh, how this looks now. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, now, I do actually have some more Magic Eraser right here. I might be able to finish up the entire top section with this little bit here, uh, but I'm not for sure about that. Uh, anyways, as you can tell, it is a massive improvement. Now, coming back to the other side here, you can see it is just all stained up, doesn't look good at all. And what I'm going to do is instead of using uh, the Goo Gone, I'm just going to use normal Dawn soap, you know, for washing dishes and things like that. Um, I'm, pro I'm not sure if I'm just going to get some out of the bottle and just kind of go along here with it, or I might even put it in a spray bottle and kind of dilute it. But um, anyways, I'm just going to try to use something that you basically, you know, have at home. Not everybody has Goo Gone but most likely everybody has some sort of a dishwashing uh, soap. So that's what I'm going to use. Well, this side here is pretty much completely done. What I actually did is I got some of this Dawn here and I got a little bit on my finger and I just rubbed it in here. And then I got a toothbrush probably scrubbed for, oh, I don't know, 45 seconds with the uh, toothbrush. And then I went ahead and let it sit for maybe a minute. And then I went in here with the, uh, now the genuine uh, Magic Eraser. And this one actually held up way better than the knockoff one. And it seems to have done a little better job. And this is the outcome here. Now, again, it's not perfect. If I wanted it to be perfect, I would scrub it a little bit more. However, it is still a massive improvement. So I'm probably going to spend maybe a minute, minute and a half more on this one. And it should be pretty much perfect. All right, from here, you're gonna go ahead and want to spray off your car. Number one, to get off all these little residue bits of uh, Magic Eraser and also to get all the leftover soap and also some of the, um, in my case, the Goo Gone off. Now, the Goo Gone that I was using, at least on the glass, it was leaving a bit of a residue. So you definitely want to clean your glass after this or even maybe, uh, better yet, wash your entire car just to make sure you get all of it off especially the soap if you leave it on there for too long it might strip your paint of wax and that's obviously not uh very good so wherever, wherever you get um any of the soap on your car especially like uh dawn dishwashing soap here for like um dishes and stuff you're definitely going to want to wax over your paint wherever you got that on uh or else again you might get your uh, wax stripped off of there so what i'm going to do now is i'm also going to go ahead and this would be after you wash your car is you would go ahead and get some um in my case uh, mother's back to black stuff this stuff works fantastic and it leaves a very nice uh, black shine to your rubber and plastics and whatever else so that's what i'm going to go ahead and apply right here and also, since in my case, as you can tell, I got some residue on here, you're gonna go ahead and want to clean up the windshield here. All right, and here is the finished product on this side. Now, I still need to do the entire windshield. I actually ran out of uh, Magic Eraser, so I went ahead and ordered some uh, yesterday. Um, anyways, this is what it looks like, and I have to say it is absolutely perfect right here. Obviously, down here I haven't done yet, but right here where I did work, uh, it just it, it looks brand new. It is absolutely perfect. So if you have stained up uh, the weather stripping on your car, again, mainly around the windows and stuff, I would definitely recommend uh, doing this. It really improves the look of your car, plus it's probably good for your weather stripping. I don't think leaving those mold stains on there and stuff is probably very good for it plus you can rejuvenate it with that mother's back to black stuff which again works very well uh anyways yeah so there it is hope everybody enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe 
I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.